Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and as you can see, I have on a nice pair of wings. All right, so we have a few things that we need to get done today. First off is making some dark steel armor. So I do have some dark steel. Looks like I already have some boots with some apiarist shoes on them. And uh, what is this? Is it empowered? No, it's not empowered, but it has the the shoes already on them. So we already have those made, so that saves us on some dark steel, but we need to make the leggings. And we can also make the helmet. And the chest plate. And this is some really good armor, I must say. Um, there is a few things that we're gonna need to empower it. One being an uh, anvil. I think I might have one in here. No, I don't. Must have got lost somewhere. I did make one. All right, let's look at uh, anvil. So there is a dark steel version that requires a lot of stuff. I don't think we are gonna do that. I think we can do this one though. So let's do three blocks of iron. And, what, there we go, and an anvil. All right, uh, we're also gonna need a few other things. So if you look here, to get empowered just to level one, we're gonna need a vibrant crystal. And let's look up at vibrant. The vibrant crystal requires emeralds, which we don't have, don't have emeralds. Um, so, go in mining. That's going to be something that we're going to need to do, like, now. But, I'm going to need battery. Um, and a battery would be really nice because it's going to help maintain our uh, energy inside of our drill. So we can mine a lot larger. Ooh, the quant uh, quantruple. But that's expensive. Looks like it gets the... Okay, so a single battery requires an energy module. I do think I have an energy module over here. So we went from um, setting up our empowered armor to needing to go mining. Um, but we are going to need to get that done. I did organize this a little bit, our little setup over here. This is the stuff that we've actually gotten from uh, those things. So... Um, these will be stored in here. I just toss them in here. You can't automate this. I just have it. I like seeing what I get. Um, and I have gotten some flawless diamond, which isn't bad at all. We got a scientific calculator, advanced terrain module, hand crank generator, a power cube. So, a few things that aren't too bad. But, uh, we did get those. And, uh, I'm gonna have to go mining. I just, I need to make one of these batteries. Um, and you know what? put a little bit of power inside this as always for crafting the single battery anori crystals advanced coil i think we have most of the stuff for that i do need to take all of this stuff out of here that we have and make sure it gets put in here so now that we, now we have it we can craft in here okay so single battery i think i have this, okay. Refills the crafting grid. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. That, I don't remember that being there last time. So I can make one of those. I can make one of these, possibly. What do I need? A Nori crystals. Does iron pull it up? No, it doesn't. Okay, so we are going to need some some iron. Just a bit. Just a bit of iron. Go ahead and toss that. Zombie, you can straight up get out of here. You can just go. I don't want you over here. Okay. And that is just like that. And then power module on top. Gets us a single battery. Um, I wanted to mention, when I'm on a server, which I have the local server, like I said, uh, this doesn't change colors. 
I did notice that. Um, so that's probably a server, something to do with the server. But uh, normally in single player, this is actually red. Pretty sure. I remember it being red. And the other one's blue. This is the color that's used for the cast. Um, so, I don't know. That's something that uh, is definitely happening there. Alright, and to bump up to the double battery, it's basically the same thing. What about the quadruple battery? That requires empowered. Um, and we only have one left of the empowered. And I don't I know I don't have enough to make any more of that, but I think the double battery will work just fine. So that's not gonna be an issue there. I think I can set everything up else up. Alright, there's that. And I guess we're gonna need more iron. I just thought of that. So more iron, and it's gonna be really easy to um get stuff now. Like mine, because we mine in a super large area. Like, I i mean, a 5 by 5 is a really big area. And I should be able to hold this in my inventory and it will do its thing. Maintain everything. I don't think I have to put a charge in it. No, I don't. Okay, so there's that. And I don't think we can go up anymore. I don't think we can go to a triple battery because it requires empowered. And the next one, but we will, we will get it soon. Um, I'll get some of that other stuff cooking. I have to go kill a gas before we can do that, but um, anyways, let's go ahead and get this thing charging. Now, this is not the best way to charge this thing. Um, I would love to look at a capacitor bank while I'm here as well. Uh, I forgot this is not synced. Oh, I would spell capacitor. All right, Ender IO capacitor bank. The regular capacitor bank is pretty cheap, I must say. Um, I say cheap, but baking these basic capacitors is not the easiest task, but we do have them kind of auto-crafted over here, so that helps out a lot. All right, uh, we just need a redstone block. There's that. I wonder, I'm running really low on redstone. That's not a good thing. Okay. Um, we can make ourselves a basic capacitor bank and hook that. Where would be a good place for that? Probably next to these generators. That's where we've, we're always over here. And it looks like we're gaining 31 RF because this is running. I'm guessing that's why it's doing that. Huh. Um, probably if I shut this off, it'll charge a lot faster. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think there's a, any any better place to put it unless I put it in the mining world. Then it'd probably charge a little bit faster, but we can go ahead and throw this battery in here. Because that's not going to charge very fast at all over there. As you can see, that is filling up quickly. Now all the power is going into it. All right, well, I'll be back once this guy's charged up and we'll go down and start mining for some uh, emerald. All right, so this guy is definitely done. And I think it says right click it while it's in your inventory. Or hold shift and right click while it's in your inventory and uh, it will activate it. So it'll be powered up and we'll be good to go. All right, I wanna head over to those, that hill biome, which is way over here. Um, as you can see, I restarted the server and it seemed like it fixed this area, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, there is a hills biome over here. Hopefully the server can keep up and uh, not give me too many problems. But I'm going to try and head over there and I'll be right back. Alright, so here is our extreme hills biome. I know you love smacking your head on the wall, but uh, this was the mine I made in the extreme hills. And it goes way down to the bottom, where of course we ended up hitting um, a little bit of a mine shaft. And uh, I went ahead and dug it out. And I'm pretty sure there is a path down here that takes me all the way down. Not for sure where exactly it leads. I think it led to a mine shaft. 
Um, I forget. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it takes us all the way down here. As you can see, I've done a lot of mining. We are at... Um, let's see, we are at Y28. And I think one of these... Let's look up Emerald. Emerald. Emerald Ore. Um, so it's a... You're gonna find... You're probably gonna find it most around here, even though it says Y5. But you can see that the percentage drops drastically right here. So you're probably gonna stick between 24... Or 20... Yeah, 24... Oh, well, we'll see. What is that? 25 and 30. Somewhere between 25 and 30. So I'm going to go down to 25. And you're going to have to stay in the biome itself. You're going to want to stay in this biome. I'm sure we'll come across some... Uh, some coal, hopefully. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain without torches. Okay, have we gotten any coal? I hope we have. We didn't get any coal. Oh, man. Well, it looks like our power is lasting quite a while. There's some coal. Okay, so let's take our coal. And we will just make... A few of these. At the moment. That'll work. 16 for now. Yeah, we're going to do some serious mining here. Look at this. We're just tearing through. Hopefully we find some emeralds. I should see some for uh, before everything goes crazy. Um, oh, we're in Swampland biome. So that's something we got to watch out for. Um, I got to stay in the Extreme Hills biome. Otherwise, I just I won't get what I'm looking for. I won't get the emerald. I could possibly trade with some villagers um, for some emerald as well. I have not done that. Um, but I think for now, let's see, am I on the right? No, I'm not. I think right here is where I need to be. I need to be doing some mining. Yeah, this is pretty nice. I mean, it does get the job done. Very, very uh, crazy with all the item drops that are going on the ground. Um, I'm not too sure about that. That's the only issue I really have with this. And like all these, all these stone and stuff that's falling. Ooh, there's an emerald. We did get emerald. Man, I, I wish I would have fortune. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure this has... No, this does not have fortune. Um, let's see, fortified magnetic. Okay, it does not have fortune on it. Oh well, we need it. Like I want it like now. So, um, no sense me even worrying about it. I'm sure we're gonna run into a bunch more, especially with us mining such a large area. And you know, let's see. Do hear some bad guys. Hi, fella. How are you guys doing today? Look at them. Two, two of these. Two Endermen. Two Endermans. Right here. They just want to say hi. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Wow, that does some considerable damage. Not too shabby. All right, you don't do very good on gravel. Awesome. Um, so I can consider all that stuff gone. Well, we did get three emerald. That's not exactly what I was wanting. I want more. Um, something happened. Ooh, those are monster eggs. Right? The only reason it's not like... Oh no, that must be like an entity thing to keep you from breaking your base. I don't know. I have a feeling that there's a lot of stuff we're missing. Because we can't pick it up. We got a lot of cobblestone. 
A lot of cobblestone. I will take all that gold. Thank you. But yeah, I figured I'd show a little bit of mining. I have not shown, like, any mining at all. And, uh, this is basically how I've been mining. So. Yeah, that does, that does a pretty good amount of damage, I must say. Hi, Creeper. Thank you for that. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to just explode in my face. Awesome. There we go. I'll take all five of those. Sweet. Okay, um... All right, I'll be back after I get a few more emerald and we should be good to go. All right, so I'll definitely have to uh, come back and kind of clean up this area because we do have a lot of good stuff down here. Some iron stuff, but uh, I did clear out quite a large area and uh, I netted myself about 17 emeralds in total that were um, in the area, so that's pretty nice. Um, that was where I got emerald before was down here. Uh, but yeah, now I gotta find my way back, and when I get home, I will, uh, start crafting some of that stuff. Let's drop off some stuff, get that processing, get all of that. Actually, I don't want uranium in there. Get all that stuff going, and everything else we can throw inside of our inventory here. Including, not these guys. Um, but yeah, our battery is gonna go back inside this guy and that should charge up pretty fast also this guy can go in there and charge up as well all right so we're gonna get some armor and power it up exactly what I wanted to do in this episode was get some armor but uh, before we had to do more crap or before we had to do more uh, of that lovely stuff um, we have to make some of the crystals. And I'm pretty sure we need Vibrant Alloy. Vibrant Alloy. So we're gonna need Vibrant Crystals. So the Vibrant Alloy is going to be Ender Pearls. We'll just take all of them. And seven Energetic Alloy. There we go. Awesome. So we'll take that. That'll get processed up. Hopefully it won't take too long. I would really like for this to finish. Um, it's only got a few more. I only set up four to go in here at the moment. Um, it does take quite a while. It's because our power is, is so low. Um, I don't know why this one... Like, I guess with these cables down here... Like, they, they don't equally spread out the power. As you can see, I do have it wrapped around like this. Here to here, to here to here. As you can see, the power slowly diminishes down here. To where this one's not gaining that much power at all. So this is like our slowest area, whereas this is just climbing. Yeah, it's like staying around the same. So it's maintaining it here, just not anywhere else. But yeah. I also removed the cabling that was hooked up to here, so that probably changed it a little bit as well. Uh, but, oh well. Um, we're just basically waiting for the Vibrant Alloy. That's uh, like our main thing. So, now that we have that, we can make the Vibrant... Vibrant Crystals to... Where's that? Right here. Um, I think we need four of them. So that's going to be quite a bit, and there we go. Four of these a piece, because each one of them is going to require four levels, and we're going to need to empower them. Um, also, night vision. I want to get that up. Night vision. Potion of night vision requires a carrot. Do we have a carrot? We do have one carrot. I think I'm going to plant that carrot, because I don't want to 
lose the one carrot. You know what? I probably have a bunch of other carrots from the zombies, but... Just be on the safe side. I'm gonna plant one carrot. It's fine. I'll plant you here. Alright, by the time we come back, hopefully we'll have a carrot that is ready to go. Alright, so over here, um, I was having some issues again with it uh, causing some lag on the server, mainly because items were building up. Let's turn this guy off. And as you can see, I'm not getting too many um, boots and stuff. So I do have some boots here, but that's because I could not fit it in the filter. So it's filtering out almost all the iron, all the armor and all the swords in here. But other than that, um, we're doing fine. Looks like we got 128 pearls, 25 pearls there. Man, we got pearls all over the place. 128 pearls there. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff here. Um, so this is going to be great. So let's place our anvil, let's say right here. And we can go ahead and start crafting some of this stuff. Um, I need to watch out. Hopefully my armor doesn't get sucked in there. But Dark Helm... Just like that, it is empowered now. All of these things will now be empowered. Need to gather a couple more levels. It requires four apiece, so just keep that in mind. And I only want to do for a time save on experience. Awesome. And we currently have 231 <laughs> levels of experience. Um, that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, but to get to Empowered 2, we need a basic capacitor in each one of those. Um, not going to be done today, but now that we have them Empowered, we can go ahead and throw other things on here, like uh, Night Vision, which is not bad. Uh, we don't need anything else on this. Um, we don't need a Sound Locator, we don't need Solar. Um, the Naturalist Eyes, which is the Spectacles, um, which these have damage on them. We could put that on there. Will these support it with damage on it? No. Uh, but having the spectacles, spectacles on there would not be bad. Hopefully our carrot's done and we have more than one carrot, I think. Was there carrots over here? I did not check. I Good thing I planted the carrot, because I don't see any carrots. I thought zombies dropped carrots. Maybe they don't. Oh, also, this guy, we need to keep some kind of coal in here. It's doing a pretty good job. Um, for it not being running very long. It's kind of like a quarry. It's still not fast. It's like faster for us to go mining. But uh, we do have it up and running. I would like to get, um, by the end of this episode, we're going to have a glider. I would love to put the glider on there. So let's go, go ahead and make a glider. So, we need glider. It requires dark steel and glider wings. So, two glider wings, I'm guessing. Is that what this is? Yeah, two glider wings. Oops. There we go. Glider wings. And there's like a delay you have to wait for it to build up there. Awesome. Now we have a glider. Upgrade for dark steel chest plate. What is this? Reinforced glider wings? Wonder what those are for. Looks like something to do with simply jetpacks. Um, but yeah, we can put that on there. Let's go ahead and get our carrots so we can make our night vision, potion of night vision. And we should have everything we need for that because we do have nether wart, we do have everything else. I just wanted this carrot. Okay, we don't have that ready. We do need some fertilizer. We can just get a bunch of it. Let's see. Let's just get some fertilizer on this thing. Awesome. Slime sling. Slime sling for the win. Oh, except for we broke the crop. That'll be fixed. There we go. We'll just get all the carrots that we will ever need for a while. There we go. Perfect. Not worried about carrots at all anymore. Um, I don't really know what they're uh, they're going to be used for in this pack, but... 
Never hurts. Alright, night vision. Ocean night vision. We need a golden carrot. We need some golden nuggets. Surrounded carrot. Alright, and what is this? Awkward potion? Water bottles. Awesome. And that's not going to be hard to get. Did not mean to do that. Let's get those out of there. We got a brewing stand over here. Looks like we got a little bit of power. And we do have a nether wart farm right here. So, uh, can I pick these? Yes, I can. I will take all of these. Thank you, because I need that for my nutrient distillation. Okay, let's do all but one, because we need to turn these into awkward potions. And we also need some blaze powder. Um, we got some right there. Blaze powder to keep this guy full. And we should be just about done. All we need is that one night vo night vision. Awesome. And uh, anything else we want to get. So on our, we have Potion of Swiftness. On here we have the Electra Glider Wings Apiaris Shirt. On here we have Jump, which is a piston. So a piston. We can do that. Anything else? So jump uh, with a piston, flippers with a lily pad. I don't think we have any lily pads on us. No, I've not collected any lily pads. That's fine. All right, and one night, one potion of night vision. Anything else? Um, the only thing I can see is just having more empowered stuff on. You. Right. That's it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and finish up with our armor and we can throw it on and uh, check out some of our cool stuff that we have, which is pretty nice. Okay. Um, this guy's turned off, so it should not be too loud. I think I'm going to leave it off for now until we need more ender pearls, because right now that's all I really wanted it for was mostly ender pearls. We have a bunch of heads and stuff, so not too concerned with that. All right. Let's see. We need, I'll do eight, because I know we're going to need this for night vision. And jump on our legs, right? Was it on our legs? No, it was on our boots. All right, and glider wing. We need four more levels for our gliders. All right, um, let's check out our controls. And it'll be under Ender IO, Dark Steel Armor. All right, Glider Wings. I kind of want that to be set to this button, I guess. I guess that'll work. And let's see, Night Vision. Set that to V. And that's it. Um, we could get speed on this. Let's see. Does it have jump two piston with six levels? I kind of want to increase our jump. I like that super high jump. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep adding pistons. I think it might do even more pistons. Um, but yeah, we have night vision. Which is pretty nice. Glider wings. Let's see how that works. Ow. Okay. That's okay, I guess. Right? It's a bit weird. But it's a good way to travel. Um, did we take all that damage from... Falling? I'm not sure. 
We don't have any power in this either. So all this is going to need to be powered up. Let's get another piston. Possibly another piston as well. I'm not sure if jump three requires another piston. But we do need some pistons. And it may be because we don't have any power in here that we're not getting, uh, not seeing our jump happen. But we're going to try it. We are we are definitely going to get this guy jumping. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's get our boots in here. All right, can we get jump three? It's a piston eight levels. Sweet. All right, that is a jump maxed out. Yeah, we probably won't see our jump changed until we give it some power, so... And that'll go really well with that glider. So, hitting our button takes a little... Like, there's like a delay. I don't know how, how much I'm going to like that. Let's take off our armor. Let's get our boots doing going first. Well, that's pretty fast, but of course it doesn't store too much energy. There we go. That's our jump. That is now our jump. That will help a lot with our glider. Let's see. Let's activate our glider. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, moving around now is not going to be that hard. <laughs> that helps out a lot. So, um, I'm going to work on getting it empowered higher off camera so it reduces more damage. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode or this video. And if you did, please over click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and also, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You know what? You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.